What is up fellow astroneers, Ducky O'Brien here and today I'll be bringing you guys a short video about an idea I had. This is for the salvage initiative which is still going on as of this recording. I believe it ends on June 30th. Anyways, I got tired of looking for things to salvage so my idea turned around to something more reliable. What if we could create things and then blow it up and then farm that so my idea revolves around the extra large shredder and here's why. When you have a certain amount of points and you get your rewards coming in. So I got 34,875 points currently. But when you have rewards coming in, you get certain things coming down. So I'm going to show you guys what exactly comes down. I have some here, but I want to show you guys from the platform itself. So while that's coming down gonna get that there uh, we're gonna use that to create extra large shredders and then we're gonna blow the shredders up and then package it up and then send it back up it's almost a closed loop and then when we get the rewards we also get scrap and we use the scrap to create extra packagers now the only thing that you're missing from this equation is hydrogen you need hydrogen so you can get it from Vicenia which has 100 ppu you can get it from Silva just bring it over to make more dynamite but anyways, as you can see here, we got two jump jets, which you scrap immediately. The silicone and the titanium alloy you move to storage for later use over here. And the steel and the tight, uh, tungsten carbide, sorry, go into your printing tables. And then that's it. And then after that, you can print the extra large shredder. Now, if you notice, there was a 1 to 1 ratio, which is what you need for the extra large shredder. So that's all you need to do. Use the rewards to create extra large shredders, load them up. Now, if you need extra steel, it's really easy to make in Glacio and that you can get Argon at 100 PPU. Use that and combine it with iron and carbon, which is readily found on Glacio's surface and you get extra steel here. Now I only have this set up because I use steel to make these extra large platforms. So I was no longer at a one to one ratio. Once you get it back up to one to one ratio, you will never have to farm steel again, unless you want to. All right, after these are done, you just bring it over safely away from your base and anything explosive like hydrazine. Make sure you save a lot in case you end up blowing yourself up. And then we're gonna go and detonate this. I would recommend blowing it up from the top most place possible so you don't damage the ground too much. Uh, I have a cr tunnel right now leading into the core so I don't want that being damaged. Here we got only two small pieces and about three of the debris bundles. Uh, I shred this immediately as well. So let's unpack another one. We just keep doing this and I, you know, it's uh, not efficient in that you're going to eventually run out of materials, but it's great in that it's very stress-free and just doing it from the comfort of your own base. Oh, that was a terrible, terrible spawn there. <laughs> just one. All right. And you just keep doing this over and over again. Again, I have six large printers. You can have more because they are very slow. And the only thing that you're really missing is hydrogen. So just find a source of hydrogen, bring it over, and you should be good to go. There we go. That's the one I see. Four. Wow, that's pretty good. All right, and then you just package these up. And then you just attach him and get ready to send it back up. Now 
and you don't want a full payload before you send it up. Anyways, I'm just showing it off here. Also, scrap these immediately. They're not worth sending up. The amount of bites that you spend is not worth it. Let's get the silicone. The silicone is annoying, but you can turn the silicone into cranes. The titanium alloy you can use to turn into nanocarbon if you want. It's up to you. There's a lot of freedom. There's a, You don't have to make extra large shredders. You can make uh, drills, drill ones for the rover and the crane. You just need extra, I think, iron for the crane. And you can do whatever you want. But the idea is you're creating an object to explode with dynamite to turn into the small debris packs. And you can send it up. And when you get... A certain amount of points, you're gonna get so many rewards, so many care packages. I just have a lot every time that I play. Like, let me send this one up. And I would highly recommend building more than one request platform because you're gonna have so many care packages coming in that it's this is gonna shorten the amount of time that you spend uh, trying to sort out all the extra stuff that you're gonna get. And that's pretty much it. So this is uh, a thing that I've been toying around with. It's just an idea to use the care packages to your advantage. So, you know, you can just log in, get all your rewards, and then have a stress-free time of getting a few extra points. It's a almost a closed loop, again, except for the hydrogen. Look at this, they just keep coming. And you can use this for scrap. Excellent return on scrap, by the way. The silicone, you have to figure out what to do with. Again, you can make cranes with them. The titanium alloy, whatever. You can do whatever you want with this. Uh, I just chose extra large shredders. And then again, this is a 1 to 1 ratio. So as long as you start with the 1 to 1 ratio, you will never need to make either of these resources. Alright, that's it. This is all I wanted to show you guys. I uh, hope it comes in handy. Oh, thank you so much for dropping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, things you would like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I really do mean it. If you need any help with anything or if you want me to make anything, I will certainly try my best. Anyways, thank you so much for dropping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. I can't say that enough. Thanks to Astroneer, thanks to all the Astroneer fans out there. I've been growing in subs and I really do appreciate it. It's a great game with a great dev team. Check out their dev stream. Uh, they give a lot of peaks, a lot, a lot of leaks, you can say, as to what's coming next. I don't want to spoil it. Go check it out yourself. It's going to say two words here, automation and camera drones. Well, that's three words, actually. <laughs> But yeah, it's exciting. The future of Astroneer is looking very neat. Very neat indeed. Anyways. Uh, thank you so much for dropping by uh, once again. I uh, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there. And catch you guys next time.